Uh, we found it. The uh, world headquarters of Scarpa here in Asolo, Italy. Here we are. Let's go on inside and let's learn all about the Italians making boots. We can figure out how to get in. Ah. I guess they're going to let us in today. Hi, it's nice to meet nice you. Hi, Jason. Yeah, nice okay. to be here. Thank you for setting this up. So we're going into the uh, factory now, and we're going to get a tour by David. David is a cousin and uh, another family member of Scarpa, and he's going to take us through the processes and give us the whole tour of, of the facility. Where do you, uh, where does the leather come from? Everything for, from Europe. Everything from Europe? Yes. yes. All, all European leather? Yes, yes. Why is Italian leather so much better than... Other no, leathers. It's not the Italian leather because the ta the leather is coming from uh, Germany. Oh, it is okay. Other place, but uh, the system for the tannery is this all. This is Italy. very important. The water, and it's because of how they handle the, the moisture. The water. The Got water it. is uh, is good. It makes all the difference. Yes. Okay. Never knew about the water. Great. So they're they're producing six hundred thousand pairs of boots out of this factory. It's a really amazing piece of equipment. He's laying out the cuttings on the synthetic piece of leather and the machine's gonna come in and cut the patterns that he lays out depending on, on how it's laid out and where it's laid out on this. This is another cutting machine like what I showed you for the synthetic. This is cutting the spacer mesh, which is on the inside of our boots. So before the laser cutting machine, they had the presses. So they had to actually cut each piece out of metal that matched the piece that needed to get sewn into the boot, and this gets pressed down. They're still using this, but eventually they'll go away from it and go to the laser cutting machine because it's so much more efficient. So you can see this is a, a component of the boot. They cut it out of that mold that I showed you out of the metal, and they press it down. So you saw them cutting all the components for the upper, now they're constructing these uppers together, so they're all hand stitched. Really, truly still a craft here in Italy. So what is she doing here? She's she going or is she cutting extra material? So yeah. this is the upper. Yeah. This is what a, uh, an upper looks like when it's completely constructed and sewn. You got the, you, this will give you a good example of, of a Gore-Tex booty sitting inside the sitting inside the boot. Now they're, they're going to set up the, uh, the eyelets for the lacing. These outsoles are put on through uh, heat activated glue. That's why you never want to dry your boots in front of a fire. Try not to leave them in a hot car. All this stuff's glued together through heat activated glue. So they finished putting the outsole on. And they put it on that tray. Where's that boot going? The press machine. So it's going to get in the press, yeah. which yeah. is heat yeah. and pressure. And pressure. Okay. Yeah. We can close. And now the the, the pump, pump, oh. pump of the pressure at 17 bar. Okay. For how long? Uh, for at, uh, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They go to the, the refrigerator. This is a cooler. Oh, this is a cooler. Yeah, cooler and uh, fix together the the, the the glue. I see. Yeah, block the glue. They clean the, they clean the extra glue. How young is it? How young? How uh, quanto quanto giovane si? Quanti anni mi dai? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> uh, 55. 55. <laughs> Some sort of 88. No. Yes. Yeah. You think? All right. You give me hope. <laughs> nice to meet you. What a bit, Jerry. Obviously, the final step of the process is preparation preparation of the boxes and then the very final step put them in the box and then ship them off to Kuyu.
David, that was outstanding. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate the hospitality. This is a very unique opportunity to show you inside of Scarpa. Access is rarely granted, and Christina uh, and Sandra were, were very, very generous to let us come inside and see your processes. It's really amazing. I can't believe that how how much craft and skill is still left in your boot making process. This is quality. Yeah, it's truly, truly Italian quality. Hope you enjoyed it.